Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, guess who we have on our account? Yes, this is my account. If you believe it or not, we finally got Nouvellet. If you guys watched my last wishing video, you'll remember that I lost the 50-50 for Nouvellet and then went 50 pulls in and didn't get him. But after that video, I spent money. I spent money on the game. $40 down the drain and a fistful of depression later. But we now have Nouvellet. Have I financially recovered from it though? No. So if you could, please subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and it lets YouTube know uh, that my videos aren't garbage and then maybe they'll pay me more. But with that all being said, let's get in to the video. All right, well, I guess I never really explained what we were doing in that intro, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you've read over the thumbnail or the title, I think you'll be able to presume that today we are going to be building Nouvellet. Currently, he's level one, no weapon, no artifacts, no talents, but by the end of the day, he's gonna be the most broken character on my whole account. I have pre-grinded all the materials that I could. Obviously, the boss and the world materials, the Lumitoli are literally just blue starfish, and that's what I'm gonna call them, because that's what they are. They didn't come out until this update, so I couldn't really pre-grind those. I have been working on them a little today. As you see here, I have 50 of the little starfish and 10 of the unihorns, which we need to upgrade Nouvellet, but we're going to need even more. Let's head over and kill the Una, unihorn. But wait, before we kill the seahorse boss, I have an important announcement for you guys. I have received a redeemable code, which you guys will be able to put into your own game and get rewards such as 10 adventurers experience, 10,000 Mora and five enhancement orbs. I'll put my code up on screen now. This code is good from September 26th to October 9th. If you would like to enter this code, all you have to do is copy the code. They will be in the description and also in the pinned comment. Then all you have to do, copy that code, go to account, go to redeem now, and then paste that code in your redeem reward. Anyways, let's go kill the seahorse boss, but probably not with Nouvellet and Traveler. Okay, wait, no, wrong party, wrong party. Let's go to Ayaka comp. This should work a little bit better. Obviously, I have to kill this thing like 50 times today, so I won't show you guys all the fights, but we can get a little glimpse of what the seahorse is capable of. But frankly, it's one of the easier bosses I've found. It's not too difficult. A couple Ayaka slashes, and I'm usually able to finish it off. But who knows, maybe it'll be different today. Come on now. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Ayaka, I need you. Kill the seahorse. Oh, wait. What? Hey, get down here. There goes the Ayaka burst. Oh, we're so close. And one more hit. One more hit. Nice. Please give me three. Let's go. And a god piece. That could actually be good. We'll lock it. A new Ganyu piece. Don't mind me. One second. We're about to get the most OP Ganyu piece in the world after it rolls 30 million crit damage in a row. Give me one second here. Oh my gosh. It could actually happen. That's two max rolls. I'm just saying. If we get three more max rolls. Oh. Oh. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, if it's not the 40 crit damage piece, I'm not interested. Sorry, Ganyu, you're not getting an upgrade. All right, well, that was the seahorse boss. Now we have to wait 10 years for it to respawn. So in the meantime, we got some starfish to collect. We have a lot more of these we need. And unfortunately, I already collected all the ones in my own world. So it's time to go co-op hopping. Hooray, I'll be back in a minute. All right, and I think we finally collected most of the starfish we need. After my little co-op grind, we now have 102, and I think we need 108 to finish off the level 80, meaning we only need six more, which we can get from our own world. Now, if these hilly trolls would leave me alone, and I'm out of here. All right, we need six more starfish. But before we do that, let me go kill the seahorse one more time. Okay, and the seahorse is dead. Nice. Shoot. It's fine. I saved Fragile just for this. I was ready. Don't worry. And now we get three. Let's go. Could be a decent feather too. How many does that leave us with now? 16 horns. I need like 10 more. Oh gosh, that's going to be a grind. But uh, you know what else I need more of? Blue starfish. 
I need six more. Let's go get them. Starfish, where may you be? I see a waypoint. Okay, well, it's not a starfish, but we did get a teleport waypoint. Where are the starfish? Oh, there they are. Two right there. One, two, four more. Another one. Three, four, two more. Oh, another one. Come here. Five. And if we go a little bit down, there is number six. And just like that, we should have all the starfish we need. Yes, sir. We got 108. What that means is that we need to go kill that seahorse boss about three or four more times. So give me one second. I'm going to go do that and we'll be right back. All right, in the final boss battle, I think this is the last one we have to do, and then we should have everything we need to ascend our Nubalete. But first, we have to kill the seahorse. To be honest, this boss has been proving a lot more annoying than I thought it would be. It keeps flying up in the air, getting out the way, and I don't like it. It has this annoying shield that's like impossible to break. Come on, break it, break it. Ow. No, don't go in there, don't go. Oh, I've never seen that move. It does that? Get out of the air. Let's go. One last Ayaka burst. And we are done boss farming. That should be the final one. And now we have enough to ascend Nuvolet and a god piece. At least it had the main stat. All right. Well, finally, it's time. Let's start ascending Nuvolet. But wait, before we build him, I think it's important we understand a little bit about his kit. Now, I did cover this in my wishing video, so if you do want to skip past this part, I will put a timestamp now. So if you go to that timestamp, that will skip the kit review on Nuvolet. But for all those interested, let's talk a little bit about Nuvolet's kit. So the main part of Nuvolet's kit is of course going to be his charge attacks. His normal attacks are just basic normal attacks that are not really all that interesting other than having a really cool animation that kind of intimidates me. But the main part is of course his charge attack, which usually takes about four seconds to charge up and that is how long it will take. However, you're able to decrease this cooldown by using his E ability or his burst ability. When you use either his skill or his burst, you're going to summon something called the source water. The E ability is gonna summon three of these and the burst is going to summon six. These source waters are going to decrease the time it takes to charge up the charged attack. Just to do a little example here, we'll see here it takes about, about the same amount of time, four seconds, there we go, and now we got it off. But if we use our E ability and we collect three of these particles, we'll see now that it, we get it immediately. We get the thing immediately. Another thing to note that's important about his charge attack specifically is that if he is above 50% HP, he will continuously lose HP while performing it. As you'll see here, I haven't even really been hit and yet I'm at half HP. However, they negate that a little bit with some HP restoration as well that also involves the droplets. As you'll see here, you restore 16% max HP for every droplet on the field. So for example here, if we put down his burst, boom, we get six droplets. And then also the next time we use his normal attack, we're gonna recover a bit of HP. As you can see there, we restart all the way back to full HP. And that is about the summary of his kit. The only other things to note are his passive abilities, which are just pure damage increases that depend on things like elemental reactions and how much HP you can stack on him. But that is about the summary of his kit. Let's get back in to the building. Get out of my way. Not gonna lie, I'm really hyped for this. I'm so excited to be able to finally use this character, Nuvolet. You're going straight to level 80. Hopefully I didn't miscalculate anything. But knowing me, there's pretty good odds that uh, at some point along here we'll miss something. Ascend to level 70, we unlock one of his passive talents, Discipline of Supreme Aberration. Bro, his talents are long. For each 1% of Nuvolet's current HP greater than 30% of max HP, he will gain Hydro Damage Bonus, a maximum bonus of 30%. That's a good ability, I won't lie. Oh my gosh. What's his other one? A lot of text. 
but i think the summary is trigger reaction gain point points equal more damage for charge attack as i think the summary of that all right level 70 and just like that we have level 80 nouvellette also i love that he ascends with crit damage by the way he's about to be the highest crit damage unit i have maybe i can't promise that actually 78 and a couple more talent books and just like that we have a level 80 nouvellette let's go and of course when you level up a unit you're of course gonna get some acquaint fates and if you guys don't already know Whenever you level up your Nouvellet and use the Acquaint Fates from those levels, you're guaranteed to get a 5-star on the standard banner every single time. Not usually on the first one. On the second or third, it's always more likely. Okay, not the second, but usually on the third, it's guaranteed if you don't get it in the first two. <sighs> not today either. Sad. Whatever, Nouvellet, we keep moving. It's time to build you properly now for his weapon which is the first thing we're going to work on our best option for free to plays is of course going to be the prototype amber that's going to give him a nice bit of hp percent which he does scale with and a little bit more energy as well and then for whales his best in slot is of course going to be his signature but unfortunately i do not have that so we are going to go with the based prototype amber which i absolutely love the prototype amber is a really funny weapon on him my other option for me personally would be with sith the only problem with with sith is is that it's pretty situational because it doesn't have any hp percent scaling um and he doesn't need the attack percent as much um but it can still be nice for that elemental damage bonus or that em so the with sith is usable on him but i think i'm going to stick with prototype amber the next thing we're going to get is of course his four piece marachase hunter which i have fully prepared on him over on my baiju and then we're just going to remove all my baiju's pieces and put them on to Nouvellet. 27% crit damage goblet. There you go. 10% crit rate HP sands. Not the best. 30 crit damage feather. We'll take that. And then another 20 crit damage on the flower. Let's go. Obviously, because of Marachase Hunter, I don't need crit rate as much. But my crit rate right now is 25. So it might be nice to have a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go with crit rate hat, which probably isn't the most optimal thing. It's just the way my substats worked out. So let's just find a good crit right one here that has a little bit of crit damage and I think we'll be good to go. Oh, we actually have a nice one here. 19 crit damage, 14 HP. That's actually really good for him. We'll take that piece. Now let's look on our new Valet. Looking pretty stacked. 56 crit rate, but obviously that's going to be more with Marachase Hunter. 178 crit damage, 115 recharge, and 76% hydro damage bonus. He is looking mighty fine. I want to see him with Wood Sith though. How much better would it be with Wood Sith? Let's see. Oh, we could get to 233. Oh, that's nasty. Unfortunately, though, Witsith is not the most optimal choice. We're going to choose to stay with Prototype Amber because with Prototype Amber, we're able to get up to 30,000 HP, which is even better for him. The last thing we're, of course, going to have to work on is Talent, which I should be able to get. At least I plan to get to 777. So I will see you guys after I've leveled these all up to the maximum. And it looks like we're short on resources. We need to collect more Xenochromatic Crystals from the Aberrants. Oh, that's not going to be fun. Nobody likes fighting the crabs. So you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to piss off every free-to-play player watching this video and just buy it from the shop because I am a filthy whale. Let's go. Now all we have to do is go craft the rest and we should be good. Let's craft it. We can make 30 of these. Perfect. Sucrose, give me doubles. Two. Not great. And then I just need to make 11 of these. Sucrose, give me 11 doubles. Not even close. But that should be fine because I believe we now have enough for the seven, seven talents. And there we go. We have them full seven, seven, seven. He is looking mighty fine and just like that i believe we finally finished our nouvellette i've showed you guys over all the stats we finished off his talents we did not get any constellations unfortunately because i'm not lucky um but we do have a pretty stacked nouvellette and i think it's about time we go and try him out and where better to try out nouvellette than in the Spiral Abyss. The Spiral Abyss is, of course, the hardest content in the game, and I think this is going to be the best place to try him. So let's see how he is going to perform. 
So the funnest team that I personally found for Nouvellet is going to be Taser Comp. I was watching some gameplay of that over on YouTube and it looks so much fun. So we're going to go with Nouvellet. Um, and then I think I pair him with Beto, Fischl. And then because Nouvellet heals, that negates our need for a healer. So instead we can do somebody fun like Kazuha, which will make this comp a lot more fun. Let's go and try it out. Time to destroy some enemies. So I think what we do, Beto burst, boom. We group everything up, do this. Do the big burst. Oh my gosh. And then we just do this. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. I love him, man. And then if we ever are low on HP, we just pick all these up and we just heal. Simple as that. Boom, 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 boom. Put down the E. That does 27k is nuts. Put down this again. Boom. And then we put up the beam. Let's go. Look at that damage, man. 17k a hit is so good. And we can group up the little bubbles with Kazuha. That's nuts. And we can just keep going. We can just put it on spam, man. Do it again. Do it again. Boom. 65k. <laughs> Good job, Nouvellet. And kill the last thing here. Oh my gosh. Nouvellet is insane. Wait, we got to try more compositions. It was too fast. Okay, I have new ideas. This time, let's try him with... I want to do... Okay, this time, let's try him with Hyper Bloom. We'll do uh, him, Nahida, Fischl, and then we'll do Kazuo again, because Kazuo was really fun. Let's try this out. Bro, I'm all... I love this character so much. Okay, we'll do Nahida E. Boom. Fischl, Burr. We group everything up with Kazuo, or nothing at all, and put down the big burst. That animation's so cool. And do this. Come on now. Get in my little range. Get in my range. Ha <laughs> ha. Go again, go again, go again. Bro, we can just spam this on infinite. Nothing can stop me when I'm in that state. Nothing can stop me. Boom. And then go again. <laughs> 20k, 20k, 20k. Oh shoot, I got hit out the air. Again. Bro, he gets his burst up so fast, man. Boom. Again. <laughs> it's over. To be completely honest, that may or may not be my favorite character in a long, long time in this game. He has some of my favorite gameplay that I think I've ever seen in Genshin Impact. He has such a fun character with such a unique ability. And frankly, I'm absolutely loving him. But for today, that's going to be the end of our new life building video. I'm kind of out of resources, so there's not much more I can do for him. But maybe or maybe not in the future, we may or may not crown him. We'll see how it goes. But for today, that's going to be the end of our video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.